All right, so after the recap, now what we're gonna do is to maybe start changing the color. That shouldn't be too hard, but still it's fun to do. Um, if you didn't still get the recap, I'm gonna make more videos on Canvas, maybe on YouTube or maybe on this course. So stay tuned. But so far, uh, just don't worry about understanding everything that Canvas has to give you. Just remember, that all we're doing is creating lines and filling those lines, all right? Perfect, so now what I wanna do is I need to take each one of these colors, all of them, right? And I need to add an event listener to them. So what I wanna do is let me make a class in each one of them, class called JS color like this. Whoop, yep, all right, and I am gonna get that here. Colors equals document get uh, elements by class name, JS color, is it color or colors? JS color, all right. So let's console log here, whoop, uh, let's console log real quick what uh, colors is, okay? So if we refresh and we go to the console, what we have is something weird, is a HTML collection, which is, I don't know, it's basically like an array, but it's not, it's weird, it's an HTML connection. So, and I don't want this, I want an array. Now to create an array, all I have to do is call a method from the array constructor called array from. And array, array from creates an array from an object. And if we refresh, there you go. I have the array, which is exactly what I want. Perfect. So now what I wanna do is I wanna say array from colors and that will give me an array. So then I can do for each color inside of the array colors, I wanna do color dot add event listener, click. And here we are going to make a function called uh, change color. Let's of course get the event And that's it, let's just console log the event target style. All right, and this will be change color. Actually, a better name will be handle color click. That will be, that will be better. All right, awesome. Perfect. Uh, I think I'm not using this anymore. This can go bye bye. I'm not using this on my, all right. Now, if we refresh here, nothing should happen. But if I click on the color, I have the thing. All right, good. Now, if we look at the style, we're gonna get a lot of stuff. The one I want is background color. You see this very beautiful thing here? Background color right here, right? So let's make it a little bit better. Let's just do background color or just color, fuck it. Color equals event that target that style that background color. Let's use console log color to know where we are. and it works, awesome. All right, now all we have to do now is to change the context color. In this case, the context has a stroke style and this is the black, right? That's the default, but that's the black. All we have to do is override this and change this. So all we have to do is color like that. So we are gonna override the stroke style and then from this point on, 
the stroke style is going to be the color that's on the target. Very, very simple. So I'm drawing here, no problem. And then I click on the green and now awesome. And then I click here and it works here. And they all work because I mean, they all work, all right? So it works, good stuff for us. And all we did was changing the context stroke style. And we just put the color from the target. Now, this is what I did. I made an array from colors for each color. Add an event listener, click, hand the color click. This name, color, color, could be potato. Okay, it doesn't matter. It just, it represents each of the items inside of the array, okay? And this still works. It represents each of the items inside of the array uh, colors, but it could be whatever, okay? It doesn't matter. It's each, each div. Awesome. That was quick and that was easy. I will see you on the next video where we are going to make, yeah, let's do this one. Let's make it big and make it small. So the brush, the brush size increases or decreases, right? Awesome. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.